Goeiedag en welkom bij een nieuwe aflevering van Q-Time. Vandaag praat ik met Dave en Damiro Burgzorg. Het zijn twee broers en die zijn ongeveer een jaar geleden begonnen met een uh, nieuw initiatief. Het gaat namelijk om het aanleggen van gemeenschapssteunen, waarbij ze uh, weer willen leren tuinieren, uh, oogsten en daarmee uh, communities versterken. In het Engels heet het So and Grow. Het is een hele erg mooie naam. Dave en Damiro, die zijn uh, bilingual, zou ik het moeten zeggen. Dus het interview gaat uh, tussen Nederlands en Engels een beetje zweven. Maar uh, hopelijk uh, is het nog steeds duidelijk genoeg voor u om de informatie eruit te halen. What is a Dave en Damiro, welkom in Q-Time. Um, jullie, uh, jullie zijn broers. Uh, vertel ons een beetje over jullie zelf, want ik heb in het vorige gesprek, hij heeft in Amerika gewoond, dat is Dave, en Damiro, die is ja. gewoon Nederlands. Maar hoe is dat gegaan? Want heeft hij gewoon nooit willen Nederlands leren praten? Ben jij niet in Amerika opgegroeid? What happened? Some family dynamics went on here. Talk to us. Well, um, so we zijn beide in um, Suriname geboren, maar we zijn beide in Amerika um, We were raised there, yeah, opgegroeid. Um, yeah, so we're saying in um, 2011 teruggekomen. And he is gebleven. Ik ben voor drie jaar gebleven, maar dan, ik, dan ben ik um, gaan studeren. I, I left the country. I went to Aruba. I visited some islands and I went to, to study. I stayed there for about eight years going um, back and forth on vacation. And you stayed. Hey, hey was here also for seven years. And then they say, ook naar Aruba gekom, um, gekomen om zijn opleiding te doen. Okay. So in 2020, um, 2020, uh, zijn we teruggekomen. In, in het begin van die um, COVID Pandemic. zijn we terug yeah. naar Syrië. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and we decided we're going to stay here, we're going to grow here, we're going to, you know, plant our roots. Yeah. Why? Why here? <laughs> it, was, it was calling, you know. We, we, we're, saying, we're saying fun yeah. here and yeah. also our heritage is from Suriname, but we've never really spent time here. Exactly, so, and this is home. Right? I mean, um, whenever we land on the air, with, on on the the Luchthaven, it's just uh, it's a different feeling. You smell the fresh air, you you feel the culture that is around you. It's a lot is different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is your guys your background? Because uh, two young, handsome guys doing gardening <laughs> and sewing and growing. Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> So um, we started off, I, I mean, um, our cre creativity was founded in the Horeca. So um, we started using uh, different uh, uh, um, products such as uh, uh, na natural products. So like, uh, let's say, um, different types of lettuces to create our dishes were in the fine dining sector. So um, in Aruba, we, we, we worked at some of the, the, the best restaurants there. And uh, he is a graduated chef. And uh, I and studied uh, hotel management and hospitality. So um, we we used that as our foundation to build around with agriculture and uh, horeca. So we're trying to collaborate the two and also uh, give back to our community, give back to our country. Okay, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's our, our background story. isn't isn't directly attached to agriculture. But uh, some of the restaurants that we worked at, like he mentioned, we did a lot of natural foods and like taking our own microgreens in front of the guests, um, fresh herbs in front of the guests, fresh teas and whatnot. And that's something that we want to make available here in Suriname. We do it for private caterings and for private guests, but we, so So and Grow is going to be a part of that, but it's not directly attached right now. We're trying to kind of build that community in order to introduce a farm to table concept. Very yes. nice. And also through the past two years, so the pandemic has also led us to get back to our gardens because um, we realize that stores won't always be open and uh, it will be hard to communicate with people if we don't really, you know, get to know them. So we used gardening as a matter of communicating and speaking to uh, neighbors and people that we meet. Very nice. Very nice. Very, 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 very lovely initiative. So you want to do this now for communities. You live it for the buurten en gemeenschappen doen om eigenlijk ook voor hun tuinen aan te leggen waar ze zeg maar een, um, ook zelfvoorzienend uh, door kunnen worden. 
Um, en dat ze eigenlijk ook een beetje gaan op jullie manier ook gaan communiceren met mensen in hun omgeving. Hoe werkt dat systeem volgens jullie precies? What we're starting now with, like you said, we have three gardens. And this past year has been a, a, a trying experience. Some, some things are easy to get done. Some things are hard to get done. But the point is we got things done together, like us and the clients. You know, exactly. There were a lot of pr price fluctuations um, the last year. And, and that really affected us. But we saw that because we're able to have a good relationship with these clients, we mm -hmm. can overcome. We can still make this happen. And we think that if we can prove that this is possible, that people will start to integrate because we need the gardens. People, gardening is therapy, right? It, it, it just is therapy. It, it brings you into a certain calm that you couldn't get from something else. So the, we think that as long as we can prove that it's possible, it, it'll catch on. People will apply themselves. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's very, um detail that we also worked as well because um the matter of uh, dedication that we show our clients also um it's not for a short term it's not like we make a garden and leave we show that we're invested also so we try to apply ourselves in the garden we give them new ideas for that garden and that's why we also build a family whereas on this specific server you can communicate with your other with other gardeners and get innovative ideas and in how to how to plant and how to how to uh, uh, evaluate and evolve your garden into the permaculture that we try to give. So we use permaculture and agrotechnology to really balance uh, the ecosystem that we're trying to make in the backyards of people's houses. Very nice. Where are the gardens that you created right now? Well, to be honest, they're, they're private homes. People's yeah. houses. Can't really okay. Uh, Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, so, so they're in people's houses, but yeah. how, how, how does the community relation evolve around it when it's in a private home? Exactly. So um, once, we, once we hire, well, not really hire, but once we uh, communicate with the clients that we choose, because we go, we go through a screening process, so we would be screening our clients and they would be screening us as well. And we sign a, a specific contract for a... a uh, specific timing and that would be uh, aligned whereas not only the clients would be able to collaborate with other clients because they would be selling their vegetables so the vegetables that we produce they would be selling it back to the company specifically and we'd be selling it to, for a short for a cheaper price to other clients that would be um, presented to us so that's how we're also uh, maneuvering we're also um, creating a fresh market which would be um, where, where the clients specifically that we uh, take in are, are the gardens that we take in, they would be able to place their vegetables there and also create get revenue from. Very smart, produce. because you're actually creating a group of farmers which are farming exactly. to your own standard. And then, exactly. yeah, so you know what's going on, you know where you get your uh, vegetables and your herbs from, yeah. so you know the standard. Yeah. And actually, you don't have to yeah. do it yourself. You just supply the information. Yeah, and we teach them. You yeah. teach them, and then yeah. they they provide you with produce. Exactly. Very exactly. smart. Very smart. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Jullie hebben jullie hebben jullie and, eigen and, groep and, met landbouwers gekweekt. Geweldig. We're going to. We're asking Suriname. Let's do this together. Yeah. 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 That's that's what we want. Yeah. Um, yeah. promote yeah. another thing that we're doing to integrate people is tours because we work with larger farmers exactly. as well yeah so we're, we're organizing tours where people can come to a large plot of land they can get food they can talk with the farmer walk through the garden get tips get advice yeah we had our first one last tuesday right yeah. last, last yeah. tuesday they can see the post on facebook yeah. yes and we're planning one for the end of march we're trying to keep it to like 20 people but that's how we want to get farmers to get to know each other, you know, exactly. eating together, sitting, watching the sunset, listening to birds. You can pick your own plants from the farmers, buy a little bag. Exactly. So that, that's what we're, that's where, how we're going to get these people to integrate. integrate. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I really, really like it. So and Grow, that's the name. It's the easier name yes. of, yeah, opposed to the Dutch. 
gemeenschapsstoel, <laughs> voortuinieren en oogsten. <laughs> ja, <laughs> so I know. <laughs> I think that's easier. So you guys are on uh, social media, so uh, that's where we can find you if anybody's interested in becoming your sublet farmer. <laughs> <laughs> and getting to be part of the Sow and Grow community, providing vegetables and herbs in a different quality standard and therefore becoming uh, also a provider for healthy food. Yes, exactly. definitely, definitely. Good job. Farm to table. Yeah, smart. Farm to table. Good job. Very smart, guys. Heel erg veel succes met jullie initiatief. Uh, ik, ik hoop dat het heel erg veel spin-off krijgt en dat het uh, natuurlijk nog een beetje manageable is. Jullie zijn net begonnen, dus het kan overal naartoe groeien. En uh, dan kijken we uit yes, naar, uh, naar uh, jullie eigen restaurant met alles wat jullie zelf planten en jullie uh, uh, kenniservaring van en de keuken en de uh, horeca sector. Dat zit in de pijplijn, zeker weten. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. Dank je wel voor het gesprek en succes ermee. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a great day. Yes. Bye. What makes a little cute time? Dat waren Dave en Damiro Burgzorg. Hele erge slimme ondernemers zijn deze twee uh, heren. En die hebben we ervoor gekozen om ondanks het feit dat ze overal in de wereld um, zouden kunnen wonen en werken naar Suriname te komen om hier hun bijdrage te leveren. Het is een uh, bijzonder mooi concept. Het komt erop neer dat zij dus tuinen aanleggen van een bepaalde standaard en kwaliteit. De mensen die de tuin moeten gaan beheren, die worden ook uh, bijgestaan en uh, bijgeschoold. Uh, en uh, die hebben dan ook weer direct een afzetmarkt voor wat hun tuin oplevert. Hoe mooi kan die constructie niet zijn? Wilt u meer weten? Dave en Damiro die zijn op social media te vinden onder de naam So and Grow. Checkt u het als dit iets is dat u interesseert. Bedankt voor het hebben willen kijken naar deze aflevering van Q-Time en tot de volgende keer. This is another Supreme production. Supreme TV. To entertain, to inform, to inspire.